Hey, welcome back to Vikings Connected. My name is Chris Hockey. I'm in a basement in St. Louis Park. Aaron Newberg's in Palm Springs, California. That seems fair. Aaron. what do we have next? You know, it's my favorite segment. It's Purple Pups brought to you by North Memorial Health. This week, we have Afadi Adenabo and his pup, Macy. Macy is a golden doodle, and Macy is two and a half years old. She turns three in late November. I've always wanted a dog for my parents. My parents said no. Uh, my parents are foreigners. They they never understood the concept of having a dog as a companion. Now that I have Macy, my parents uh, are pretty were pretty accepting. So when I first uh, received Macy as a puppy, I remember I after the season was over, I went I went home back home with my mom, stayed with her. My mom was terrified. She wanted nothing to do with her. But after the months came around, a couple weeks came around, and she was like, wow, like, this is actually a fun dog. I, I get I get why you wanted to get a dog. And now my mom will come and visit, and she's excited about Macy. So it's pretty cool to see that even at their age, they had this depiction of what dogs were to now them really loving dogs. The reason why I went with the name Macy was like, um, growing up as a kid, um, Every time I went to school or went to church, there was this huge Macy store around there. I'm like, man, I like that name Macy. That'd be a cool dog's name. So when, when, when I got my uh, when I got my golden doodle, they're asking, what are you gonna name her? What are you gonna name her? Macy Gray. Macy Gray. So so it's kind of a dream come true. I had a vision when I was a kid, and it's cool that I'm really fulfilling uh, my dreams. I think Macy's kind of like a spitting uh, image of me at times. Like, like she's got no chill. Like all of a sudden, um, Macy will be in my apartment and we are just uh, chilling around. But as soon as someone knocks on the door, you would have thought she she took some steps since then she's just bouncing out the wall. Macy would hang out with uh, Harry's dog, Deuce, quite a bit. So Deuce, Deuce is a workhorse. Macy's always thinks she's one of the guys so she tries to compete with Deuce. Every time we go to Harry's, crib they'll jump in the they'll jump in the pool and you can just see that they're having a lot of fun and unfortunately um so May, one of macy's best friends is basil eric's dog that passed but they had a they had a blast so it was cool it was cool just seeing the, all those dogs together then macy's got a couple friends on the team and even outside of the team she's got a couple friends Yeah, yeah, like uh, dogs are very therapeutic. So during that whole time when COVID first happened and um, having having a dog was cooler than ever, just from a standpoint, because I know I was talking to a lot of my friends who were just like, man, I haven't been at work for a couple of weeks now. I'm kind of getting lonely, the whole mental health aspect of it. So having a dog and just knowing that you have a purpose, like it's kind of, it's cool to chill at your house for a couple of days or so, but not when you don't see anybody. So for me, just having Macy when this whole quarantine was happening, um, I got to walk her every single day, you know, I got to play fetch with her. The fact that I had Macy every single day made it made it really not that bad for me, to be honest. Like I, I didn't think much of the whole the whole issue because I had Macy. I'm a dog person because dog is a man's best friend. And after having Macy, I 100% agree with that statement. Mm -hmm. 